guys, welcome to a wonderful Wine Tastic Wednesday with yours truly, Jet. And today's wine of choice is none other than Josh Sellers Pinot Grigio. And we're pairing it with the peanut butter sandwich cookies from Girl Scouts. So let's get straight on to how wonderful this combination is. So um, I don't have my wine corksicle today because I used it last night and it's still chilling in my freezer, so can't use that today. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour ourselves a wonderful glass of this wine. This has been chilling in the fridge anyway, so we don't need to use our corkscrew anyway. But uh, yeah, so I do love a good Pinot Grigio. Not gonna lie, probably one of my favorite whites right now. I do love Moscatos, do not get me wrong, but Pinot Grigio is the way to go. Let me go ahead and give this a little try for you guys, tell you what's in there. All right, it's a little zing to it. Mmm. All right. I get a taste of pear in there for sure. Pear is definitely one of those tasty ones. I'm getting a little bit of a citrusy zing. I'm curious if it's lemon. Maybe it's lime. Is it, it has to be lemon. It wouldn't be lime. No, it's gotta be lemon. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and now open these cookies. And we'll give these guys a lovely try with this wine now the reason why i paired a pinot grigio with this is because it is a little bit sweet but not too sweet and it balances i feel like it's going to balance well with the peanut butter just my opinion but if you guys don't like pinot grigio for some unknown reason you can pair it with something else like maybe even a cabernet if you're into reds uh i believe cabernet is a good peanut butter um combination i think we had that before didn't you guys or is it a merlot Either way, I feel like those are a good combination. So here we go. These are also my second favorite peanut butter cookies they have. Well, the second ones that they have, but peanut butter patties are the first ones I love, and these are the second ones I love, and they're so good. So here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah. I love that classic flavor. Mmm. All right, let's give this wine a shot with this. Oh yeah, smooth flavor all the way through. Definitely cuts through that zing. So yeah, if you're gonna have a, a white wine with these cookies, I highly suggest a Pinot Grigio, more preferably a Josh Sellers Pinot Grigio. Josh Sellers is a really high-end good wine on a budget. If you're looking for a budget-friendly, high-class wine, this is that wine. I've tried Josh Sellers, I think it was Cabernet, and it's really good. So I was excited to find a Pinot Grigio in that same brand. And guys, I'm telling you, this is a really classy, budget-friendly wine. I believe I paid, I think it was $10.99 for this at Target. And I'm telling you, it tastes phenomenal. And I love the backstory to it. It's a great backstory. If you guys see the commercials you learn about the winery it's so great um the other flavor notes that i was getting with this and i didn't tell you this beforehand but i probably should have other than the lemon zesty flavor i was getting i kind of sensed let me just make sure i'm getting this right a lot of other fruity melons so i definitely taste some pear in there i want to say there's like a cantaloupe but honeydew melon maybe is in there it's a very i ha, it just has a broad melon flavor i can't precisely say what kind of melon because i'm getting a broad melony taste to it mm. but if you smell the wine you immediately get hit with that pear and you know it's definitely in there strong solid good wine and this is a perfect pairing i'm surprised at how well this paired I little, I wasn't sure what would go well with this particular cookie because, again, when we did the peanut butter patties, we did something else. I think we did a red, we did a red, a red wine, I believe. So I was like, ooh, what kind of white wine could I do with this? And I believe when I did my research that a Pinot Grigio came up in conversation through my research. I was like, oh, that's a good pairing. So yeah, um, definitely try Josh Sellers Pinot Grigio. It's really good. It's solid. Um, you definitely want to chill your white wines, as I always tell you guys. Having it room temperature isn't exactly the best 
I will say. So definitely try to either invest in a corksicle that you freeze and then you can place it in there and use it right away. Or if you can, please chill your wine at least 24 hours prior to opening. Uh, yeah. So there you guys go. That's my review of the week. Um, yeah, it's just, I, I'm impressed with this wine because I've only had the uh, red wines that Josh Sellers sells. So I really didn't know they had even white wines, to be honest. Oh, no, that's not a lie. I've seen they have a, um, a Sauvignon Blanc. Now, I cannot have Sauvignon Blanc because Sauvignon Blanc, if you don't know this, is mostly grapefruit-infused wine, and I cannot have grapefruit, so those wines are off the table for me. But I did research, and this definitely doesn't have any of that in there. Um, does it tell you what it has on there? Let's see. Oh, it even says on the back what's in it. Oh my God, this is brilliant. I didn't know he told you it was in his wine. That's so amazing. So it says here, there's definitely passion fruit, which I, that's it. I got the zing. Um, green apple and pear. Definitely got the pear. So I was on point with that. The green apple though, that was very subtle. I didn't taste much of the green apple. But then again, now that I don't know that it's in there, I might look for it as I taste it more. Um, yeah, solid good wine. Um, I would definitely have this again, and I will have it again. I will probably buy this again because it's really good. And yeah, let me see if I can get that green apple. Hmm. Mm. Yep. Now that I've had it in my face, I see the green apple in it. And as always, you can pair this with a chicken dish, a light meal as well. And maybe like a salad or oh, chicken Caesar salad, guys. Oh, this would go so well with that. And you know what? I have chicken Caesar salad chilling in my fridge right now. That's going to be dinner. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, that about wraps up this week's wine video. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did love this lovely review, please hit like. I love likers. If you have any questions or suggestions for this lovely channel, please comment down below. I will return to your comment in a timely fashion. And if you want to see lovely, more lovely videos of this such, please hit subscribe and hit the bell for notifications because it will tell you when I post a video, which is typically every Wednesday. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.